Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and for about nine years now I've been providing monthly updates uh, by means of an email newsletter, a personal newsletter that goes out. And in these updates I cover what I refer to as the, the seven areas of life, which are life ways, um, that's kind of a catch-all for uh, spirituality, faith, religion, philosophy, basically a person's worldview. So that's category one, life ways. And uh, the second category is health. The third category is career. The fourth category is finance. And the fifth category is relationships. The sixth area of life is activism. And the seventh area of life covered by these personal updates is effective living. So I thought I'd try this month for the first time in nine years to offer a video version of the personal update and uh, just touch on where I'm at in my life in these uh, you know different areas of life. So rather than sending it out as an email, I find that uh, a video kind of has a more personal touch, you know? Um, well, for those of you who've been kind of following the last uh, nine-year journey, you know, I, I've had an interest in Christianity and Judaism and uh, Islam and a variety of different religious views. Um, and I've had an interest in kind of exploring and incorporating those, uh, particularly what I see are, you know, beneficial aspects of these different faiths into my own uh, life journey and where I'm at right now on all of that is uh, just basically living a pretty simple life um, you know I've been living in my tiny 10 by uh, 7 house I just recently this past month uh, not this month but in August uh, moved to a really nice apartment in downtown Iowa City uh, at least I think it's nice it's um, about 12 feet by 14 feet is the main room it's an efficiency and then has a, an extra bedroom that's uh, 9 by 12. So it's still kind of tiny, but um, I, I like it. And that's, uh, you know, basically my, my outlook and sort of philosophy and religion right now is just kind of live simply and let others simply live, you know, uh, to borrow from, I think it's the Quaker tradition that uh, promotes that, that principle. Um, and in other respects, I, I guess part of my kind of life way or, or worldview has to do with uh, keeping kind of traditions and, and patterns and habits and daily routines that uh, kind of lead toward more effective living. So that would include, you know, exercise and um, things to help improve my financial situation and career and that type of thing. Um, so primarily uh, in the morning what that means is I you know, have my daily routine of uh, waking up, doing some what I call stretching, but it's a lot like yoga or Pilates. It's uh, strength training and also uh, toning and, and stretching. Um, and that's followed by some meditation and then a uh, workout that incorporates more strength training as well as uh, kind of a cardio workout. It's a trampoline work out with hand weights. I'll talk about that a little bit more in my health segment. So uh, anyway, uh, but that's that's category one, life ways, simplicity, and uh, kind of affects all areas of life. And then uh, as I kind of started getting into a little bit already is the area of health. Um, right now, although I, I feel pretty good about my level of health, I'm coming in at about 20 to 22 percent body fat. Uh, I am probably stronger than I've been in the past. I'm able to do about 26 or 28 push-ups uh, slowly, which is pretty good. I mean, I used to have a tough time getting 10 to 15 push-ups in, so I'd say my strength level's probably doubled. Uh, and particularly since I put on some extra upper body weight, I'm, I'm you know, really pleased with that. But um, you know, I'm, I'm about uh, 40 pounds heavier than where I'd like to be, even though it's, it's mostly, uh, you know, tone. 
um, and, and muscle weight. Still, if I'm 20% body fat and I'm 200 pounds, let's say, that would be uh, you know 20 pounds uh, times two, so 40 pounds of, of body fat. So that's not too good. And also, even if a person's solid muscle, you don't want to put that much uh, additional weight and strain on your joints and, and ligaments and that type of thing. So um, anyway, that kind of covers the health aspect of things. And uh, then discussing the area of career, where things are at with work. I'm uh, still working here at the University of Iowa. Things are going well. And I also have a pretty busy clientele with my computer consulting business, which is uh, what I do evenings and weekends, or I'll take some vacation time in an afternoon and do some consulting that's going really well. I'm thankful for that. Uh, and basically, there's not much new in the area of career, although I, I have, as many of you know, I've kind of branched out and begun doing uh, some writing uh, with my book from last year and then uh, some other writings that I've been doing for, uh, not really for any income, but more just for the keeping myself um, up, up keep, keeping my writing skills up. So uh, anyway, that's the uh, on the career front. And with regard to finances, um, basically there's nothing really new there other than I'm, I'm looking for more and more creative ways to cut back on reoccurring expenses and um, you know keep my my overhead low and and increase the uh, the income which is kind of goes hand in hand with the consulting business uh, relationship wise things are going really well with family and with uh, McCour who many of you've met so I'm really thankful about that. We're doing really well. And um, that kind of sums up relationships. Not too complicated there. Um, and then the, in, in the category of activism, there have been a few changes for me. I've, I have spoken in the past, or through writing, I've shared in the past about how I've been wanting to uh, engage in what I refer to as lifestyle activism. So. The idea there is rather than just standing on a street corner and picketing, um, to just you know live the answer rather than complain about the problem. Just what's what you know? Don't don't bark about the problem, but just come up with a solution and live it. And, and that's it's kind of like Gandhi said, you know, be the answer, or be the be the change you want to see, or whatever. So uh, anyway, that's that's kind of the category of activism, and then. I guess the big thing that's uh, been a change in my life under the heading of effective living is I've been producing these videos using my iPhone 3GS. Um, and as you can see here, when there's a lot of light, <laughs> the quality is pretty good. Uh, and it's very simple to record these videos and upload them because the iPhone, of course, has the uh, wireless capabilities built in. So you can actually record a video and transfer it directly to YouTube right from the iPhone. It has, uh, has that capability. So that's a big time saver. Rather than sitting down and responding to the, now it's like hundreds of emails that come in. I have about 5,000 emails in my inbox. Rather than responding to those one by one, which would really be kind of impossible, um, I go ahead and record these these video responses and then post video responses to people's questions so I can uh, then make this information available online. I'm not uh, bogged down by trying to personally respond to thousands of email messages. So that's that's really I guess the headline news under the category of effective living. Um, and other than that, uh, you know, things, things are going pretty well. I'm pretty uh, thankful I haven't been doing as much writing. In fact, the iPhone 3GS was released um, just before I went to India this summer. And since the day that it arrived, which was a few days before I traveled to India, I've been not writing as much, but doing more of these videos just because it's something I can do while I'm riding my bike or walking or driving or whatever. And um, it really has saved a lot of time. I do look forward to doing some more writing here in the future.